Hey guys, today we're going to be swapping out the optimal hard drive in a Dell Optiplex 9010 AIO all-in-one. So everything's on the screen. As you can see, uh, we're going to be putting in a Samsung 256 gig solid state drive. So um, opening up is fairly easy. What you want to do is the back plate is on there you just grab a flat head from the side you just yank this bottom left corner and then you can just easily take it off once you do that four M4 screws hold it down and then after you take that off then uh, you got four more down here once you take those off, what you want to do is grab it from right here and kind of yank it upwards. So once you do that, it opens up like this. Have it leaning. The hard drive's right here. Uh, that face plate is on there. There's an M3 screw here. You take that off. There's four here. There's two more here, and then there's three over there. Once you take those off. Oh, and then there's also three more down there. Once you take that bad boy off, then you're left with another screw right there. You can just uh, move these wires out of the way. Once you take off that screw, you just push it forward. And then it comes out. I find it easier to flip it backwards and then disconnect that. Once you get it off, then there's just uh, four Phillips screws that you want to take off before you can pull out the hard drive. So once I took the hard drive out, I mean, uh, I'm installing the solid state and the holes don't really match up with that adapter since it's for a 3.5 inch uh, hard drive. So what I did is I have some of these uh, two-sided uh, uh, adhesive um, Velcro. So it's got the hook and the other side. So I stuck one side underneath and then... Uh, you want to push it as far forward so that uh, it sits just like that on the inside. Doing it that way, you got to be a little gentle because once the bottom part sticks, it's going to be hard to move it. But uh, as you can see, it's flush. It sits exactly in the position of the old hard drive. And if you guys did want to upgrade the RAM on here, uh, little compartment right here you just yank it up and then out and there's the RAM and then make sure you keep the teeth facing inward and then you can just close it back up just make sure when you're closing it back up that you line up the upper area they got little uh, hook so you start from there when you close it, then you start pushing down slowly on the sides until it lines up. Once it does, screw those back on, put the stand back on, and put the cover back on, and you're done. Once you get it to boot, you're going to want to press F2, and uh, you'll be into the BIOS settings. So then you scroll down to boot sequence. Use your mouse and the CD, DVD, C, CD, RW drive. You're going to push it up as the first one. You're going to keep on legacy. And uh, if you do have secure boot enabled, you're going to want to disable that. After you do all that, press apply. And then you exit.
press F1. Should boot off the CD now. There you go. Hope this helps you guys.